Peace YouTube, it's Sienna. I'm just coming at you with a video on how I connect to my higher self in spirit guides. You know, to me, a spirit guide is, you know, your higher consciousness speaking to you, through you. Um, so you have to just understand that, you know, these messages are gifts. That's, that's huge. And you have to understand that these are blessings that you're bestowing. So, um, the way I get ready for my connections to spirit is I make sure that I'm in a clean space, uh, clean as in energetically and clean as in physically. You want to make sure that you don't have clutter, that you want to make sure that you don't have mental clutter. So uh, a quick, you know, a quick meditation uh, is always good and a good, you know, smudge is good as well. Um, I like to use Palo Santo wood and for my meditation uh, prior to um, connecting to spirit what I like to do is I like to use Apophyllite. Um, this is my new cluster that I actually just got about a month ago and I've been using this. This I got from Tiffany Janae of Organic Blood. She's amazing and her her crystals are really beautiful too so check her out I'll leave her information um, down in the description but uh, yeah this I focus on I like to focus on the Apophyllite uh, cluster because of the fact that there's so many different points and that shows me and you know what's really funny as I'm holding this up it's actually shaped as an eye so you know it's your all-seeing eye <laughs> but um, what I was saying is like what I like about this cluster is the fact that there's so many points and when you concentrate on a cluster you see different perspectives and you're opening yourself up to be available for different perspectives so I like to get uh, clusters you doesn't necessarily have to be a pophlite but I do recommend that it is a stone that correlates with the crown chakra or the third eye chakra um, so you are opening yourself to to be aware to that frequency and that vibration. Uh, another thing that I like to do is I like to light candles and the candles that I like to light have specific meanings. This white candle, candle to me represents light. Um, and I like to do everything that I do in light. You know, I like to love in light. I like to listen in light. I like to feel peace in light. So light being in light and this white candle is huge for that. Um, and then this candle is indigo and this candle I like to light to represent my my intuition and my third eye this is actually a third eye candle um, so I light those two and you know I just focus on my apophyllite um, and I drop the ego I have to drop the ego you know and ask for guidance, you know, and be honest about my intention. You know, I'm asking for X, Y, and Z so I can have A, B, and C. You know, that's that's very important for you to make sure that you are putting out your intention, you know, to spirit so you are being understood and given these blessings. Um, another thing that I would definitely do is come from if you are doing this in a practice you know for helping others is you have to make sure that you're coming from a place of non-judgment that's huge because if you start to judge people you are not God and I say that with love because of the fact that you know we are individually God we are all God you are not one you know so what somebody else has done you can do and you could do worse or you have done worse so you need to come back and you know realize that that's not the place that you need to come from you need to be open you need to be receptive and help and that's where you you really need to make sure that you are uh, coming from a place of peace that's huge because if you are not feeling peace you are not going to be able to help others and be in peace so um, to connect to your higher self, another thing is to make sure that you are taking care of yourself health-wise, and that's spiritual health. Make sure that you are uh, cleansing yourself energetically, you know, like um, doing some purge work where you are, you know, speaking your intentions out, crying if you need to, understanding, 
being appreciative, um, coming from a real place of peace, that's, that's huge when it comes to being spiritual um, and understanding that you are okay um, and just being all right with who you are. And then you have to come from a place of being an emotional, st stable person. You know, you can't project your own feelings, you know, either. You have to make sure that you're coming from a place of emotional security. And, you know, if somebody reflects to you something, which nine times out of ten they will reflect to you, um, you have to stand your ground and say, okay, well, that's their situation. I'm here and I'm going to help in that situation so you can't put your own you know spin on things when it comes to connecting to your higher self because of the fact that if you connect to your higher self and then you push outward you're not really connecting you're just projecting so that's that's another big thing for you to understand um, and then physical health you know you have to make sure that you are getting enough sleep and I will tell you personally I have canceled plenty of appointments because I needed sleep and you know it's not about you know money or you know anything like that you have to heal your your higher self and your physical self uh, they have to be merged you know and if you're not taking care of your physical being you're not going to be able to connect to your higher self um, so what I do is I make sure that I get plenty of sleep I drink plenty of water because that that nourishes my cells and um, I make sure that I eat well. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm like a vegetarian or a vegan, but I make sure that what I do eat is is healthy for me, um, and I make sure that I, you know, <laughs> I put my hands together. I pray over my food, and you know, I thank the food that I am eating, and I thank it with my hands and on an energetic level. Level, I, you know, place my hands over my food, and I thank you know, the food that I'm about to take in to my body because of the fact that this is what is nourishing me and is helping me be my higher self. So, um, like I said, these are a few things that work for me. Uh, if they don't work for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> if they, um, you know, if this can be an outline as to how you, you know, commit to learning your higher self and how to help others, that is awesome. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at www.demurelife.com. That's D-E-M-U-R-E-L-Y-F-E.com. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.